Hello, um, this is Are You Hardcore, episode number seven of my second run. I've been told to keep off the stone and there's some very, very close to me. <laughs> but I've got a collected jack-o'-lantern. I don't know how am I going to do that. Stone. Cobblestone's fine, isn't it? Um, how can I... Right. Um, um, what blocks have I got? Right. Right, I won't actually possess any stone because it'll turn into cobblestone instantly, won't it? So that shouldn't be a problem. Um, now, um, I will, let me just, I'll risk it for a moment. I'm probably still on the one minute of, um, uh, lay, um what do you call it? <laughs> Abstinence, leeway, uh, immunity that you get. Right, okay. Now, the task I've been given as well, ah, yes, I can cook up iron. I had to throw away all iron ingots that I had in the last episode because that was the crazy block. Whereas this time uh, I'm allowed to have iron ingots but I'm not allowed to have or walk on stone because I will spawn enemies. And um, the, the thing I've got to get while I'm in this episode is um, is a jack-o'-lantern. Now, in my first run, I was set this challenge, and I didn't find any anywhere. <laughs> I didn't find any pumpkins that I could turn into jack-o'-lanterns. Um, but this time, I will at least make... Oh, I've already got a set of shears. No, don't make a set of shears. There's your shears. Good. Right. Don't make more. <laughs> I can throw away the obsidian if I want. Let's, let's heave it down here. Heave. You can have it. What use is obsidian to you? Now, um, I was the other side of that village. I'd gone a long distance away. And I can't remember whether I've seen any pumpkins that way either <sighs> but right I think it's worth just running over there trying not to run on any stone I'm not likely to pick up smooth stone am I or you know stone itself it'll always be cobble um, but I do have to watch out for going caving now in that, it's a pretty nice choice to have been given, or a pretty nice combination to have been um, told that you have to get something which is available above ground and, um, and not to step on something which is often found underground. That's nice. I like that because they could have, they could have said um, that the thing I have to collect is um, something something you normally find under the ground, or up in the mountains because the, that's the other place where you will often find lots and lots of stone. Is hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, you, you find lots of um, stone up in the mountains. So perhaps if they'd said, like up there, perhaps if they'd said, they'd said, Ed, if Ed had said, <laughs> um, go and collect something that... Go and collect a llama. No, <laughs> I don't know. Is it, what, what is something that you would only find? Only find up there. Now, okay, so I'm... Oh. 
I'm running out of sunshine. Don't step in my sunshine. Now, looking around all the time for orangey. Oranginess. I have a bed and I am allowed to sleep. So, now I really want to achieve this one because I've been given this task once before and failed. That little background noise was the scary sound of a cat <laughs> landing light as a cat. <laughs> Anyone who is a cat owner will know that cats do not always land light as a cat. <laughs> Sometimes they land like an elephant. <laughs> right. I'm going to sleep in this field. We're, we're camping. Come on. Let me sleep. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm hoping to just find... oh come on, am I being far too impatient? Look, the orange of the sky reminds me of pumpkins yet again. So I have to carve the pumpkin and then I have to set it up with a... Ooh, fire! Fire hot! Right, that's not my problem right now. What probably should have been my problem was I should have been noting with great interest anywhere where I saw pumpkins while I was on my travels. Because I did do quite a bit of travelling. I'm pretty sure I didn't come right through here. But my videos may call me a liar. Don't step on the stones. Stepping stones will get you into big trouble. Come on, look for a flash of orange. Not a flash of red like that. You can find, as the wiki says, you can find pumpkins in any biome. <laughs> Almost. Almost. I bet that there are some that I've absolutely never seen it in. So, right. So I must be prepared in case I, in case I find my pumpkin with 10 seconds to go at the end of the episode. Um... Pumpkins! Oh, I am so happy. Right, okay. And then I need to put a little light under it. And that is a jack-o'-lantern. I have... I've achieved! Again! Wow! Well, this will be... Um, what episode am I in? <laughs> right, if I survive to the end of this episode, then that will make it um, four in a row, um, which outweighs the three failures in a row that I had earlier. Okay, I'm happy. We're about halfway through this episode. Oh, look, is that a... Is that a village that I haven't been to before? <laughs> That's, it's one of the benefits of having an awful memory. <laughs> I played the other episodes probably a week ago. So everything's new to me today. <laughs> I was like, oh yes, I've never been to a village like this. And then all the villagers will say, we know you. You were here only half an hour ago. In their time. 
Oh, I'm sure I haven't been to this village. What a quaint little village you have here. Quaint? Don't you give us quaint. We've spent our lives making this the rich metropolis that you see with now. Okay. Um, don't step on any stone. And don't, if the, if the, the weird, hello, you're a novice, a novice cartographer. Okay, right, well, I'm sure you will thank me for pointing that out to you. <laughs> what did you do today, Batty? <laughs> I insulted all the villagers, everyone I could find. Um, right, I don't see any buildings that are really interesting to me. Okay, so I could, ooh, hello, hello! <laughs> right, what I can do, I can make many, many more breads, more loaves. What about going out into the desert and finding it? Don't hurt yourself. I've always got far too much exuberance to try and just leap <laughs> when I'm running across places. Ooh. And of course that gets you hurt. Look. Lava pond. Would you remember that there's a lava? Right. Interesting. If in my next episode, if which actually would be the last episode, yeah. Assuming I, I live through this one. Okay. So, I should write down. Um. Two, three hundred. Four to fifty is lava because um, I do know where another lava pond is right back near spawn but it might be handy to have uh, one near me <laughs> rather than near spawn and also I know the one near spawn I know where it comes out and I died <laughs> when I um, I went there but then again that was more down to my <laughs> misdemeanors than um, than anything wrong with the nether. Look, beautiful, large, huge desert. Is it my eyes or is it getting dim? It must be my eyes because it's wow vast expanse of desert there's more there's more lava ponds here i can tell this will all look beautiful at night won't it it'll be lit up by the gentle glow of the lava fires okay now this type of a challenge like several other ones that have appeared in Are You Hardcore, it's it's the kind of one where you can't carry everything with you. So you just make a mental note as to where you've seen things. <laughs> uh, me and mental notes, they, they just don't work. Um, yeah, so basically, I make these mental notes. Yeah, um, well, I haven't seen a temple. Oh, go on, you've got so many of them. And oh, you've only got one episode to go, so eat up. You can all have seconds. Hi, rabbits. 
the rabbits in deserts are just put there to scare you. You hear a footstep, you can't see anything making that footstep, you think it's a creeper. Is that the same for everyone else? Certainly what happens to me, is I, I, I just hear little footsteps, think, ah, creeper, I'm about to be exploded, and it's just the rabbit smiling up at me, munching a carrot. Nyeh. Right, where are you going? I need to go somewhere high. No, there's still no temples. What if I get up really high? What if I go up there? But you've got to go down in between, haven't you? You're right down, look at that. Did you... Could you be any more down? Okay. Ooh, I hear skeletons in caves. Oh! <laughs> ah, that's better. Oh, this isn't good because it's all it's all loose sand, isn't it? So if I dig any of it, the rest of it will all come crashing down. up onto the top. Oh, there's some stone there, don't you? Tempt me with your your stonish ways. Sleep on a hilltop. Okay. Right. Well, ooh. Ah, there is a tempule. But... Have I got time to have a look at it? Oh. Have. Will I get destroyed? Will I die so close to the end just because I was tempted by a temple? You know what goes on in temples? I've had I've had whole temples explode in front of my eyes. That oh another ruined portal over there. Right. Hello. Right. If a creeper is there, I will survive. Ah, is that stone? I am lucky that that is not stone. <laughs> right, ooh, sweeping edge, ooh. Uh, but I haven't got an anvil. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, don't get, don't get too excited about things that um, you can't use. Yeah, more string, gunpowder. A saddle! Oh! <laughs> yeah. Have I looked at all four now? Yeah, that was the sweeping edge. Right! Okay. So, it comes down to this. Oh, and there is the final one! Crazy block seeds, crazy effect fire hail, and I've got to collect a damaged anvil! I was just talking about anvils for that sweeping edge. Right. Well, in the last episode, let's see us... Oh, don't do that. Turn around and talk to people. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with the final episode very soon. Bye-bye.